Have you heard about the recent discovery in the dried up Euphrates River? Archaeologists made a stunning finding when they drained a region formerly known for its crops, revealing the remains of an ancient city. But that's not all. The eerie noises coming from the depths of the river have some wondering if fallen angels are seeking help. The Euphrates River is very important for more than it's just history and culture. It also helps decide what happens to the people during the rapture. Are you prepared for the approaching days of salvation? Stay tuned to learn more about the incredible discoveries and prophecies surrounding the Great River. The Euphrates River is a famous river in Western Asia because it is very long and important. People around the world are surprised because it is drying up, which led to finding old things. These things are very interesting, and everyone is shocked. It's doubtful that the Euphrates River will ever be like it was before. The river's importance is not only limited to its geographical significance, but also its role in the Bible. It is said to originate from Eden and is divided into four branches, with the first branch named Bishop containing pure gold. The river's significance also extends to determine various factors related to the coming of the rapture, which is an important event in Christianity. Numerous urban settlements have been established alongside the river, and the river holds significant opportunities in shaping the destiny of individuals when the rapture occurs. The rapture refers to the return of the Almighty Son, who is expected to come to earth and penalize those who lacked faith in him. He built a world for believers to escape chaos and live peacefully. It is crucial to prepare for his arrival, as no one knows when it will happen. Only the Lord knows about his arrival, and it is discreet, even to the angels. Therefore, believers must always be ready for his coming. The book 1 of Thessalonians, specifically in verses 14 and 16, mentions that those who have faith and are already passed away will be carried by the Lord during his descent from heaven. Those who are still alive when he comes will not prevent those who have passed away from joining him. The Lord will come with a shout, the voice of the archangel, and the trump of the Lord, and the dead in Christ will rise first. Believers will be taken on a journey to heaven where they will be transformed into immortals. To be taken to heaven, one must have unconditional faith and trust in the Lord. This requires more than just attending church or reading the Bible. Repentance and actions that reflect one's faith are important to the Lord. The Lord will provide believers with a new chance in heaven, free from the corruption and sins of the world. Only true believers will be able to experience this transformation. The Lord will end the suffering of his followers by transforming their bodies into immortality, allowing them to undergo the final resurrection. In Revelation 7, Cohen 9, verse 10, a great multitude from all nations, kindreds, peoples, and tongues stand before the throne and the Lamb, clothed in white robes and holding palms in their hands. They cry out with a loud voice, praising the Lord who sits on the throne and Lamb, giving thanks for their salvation. For a very long time, people have been relying on the Euphrates River to get water. This river eventually flows into the Persian Gulf. Most people use the river to water the crops like wheat and barley. Moreover, the river plays a vital function in transportation, serving as a trade pathway between the Mediterranean and Mesopotamia. Its cultural significance and historical reference are beyond explanation, and it is referred to as the Great River. Despite the river's flourishing past, various factors have caused it to dry up, resulting in a barren landscape. However, what is even more interesting is the scary noises being heard from the Euphrates River. Some believe that these noises could be the voices of fallen angels seeking help. The sound is so loud that it cannot go unnoticed, and could be a sign that prophecies written in the Bible would come true. Therefore, people should repent of their sins and have a positive outlook on life, preparing for the approaching days of salvation. It is essential to be sincere and not try to deceive oneself as a false believer. Ultimately, every person will be identified by the Lord and it is impossible to run away from one's true identity. Iraq is going through a difficult stretch since it is not pouring a lot and the nation is confronting its most obviously terrible dry season in 10 years. This is happening because of a few things like not taking care of resources and polluting. Along this, the Euphrates River has no new water left. Individuals in control have previously discharged the supply, so the water levels will begin to go down soon, perhaps in only a couple days. The archaeologists have made good use of this chance when it presented themselves. The crops have been saved by using this strategy, but instead it has led to the discovery of something much more significant. The discovery that the drain region formerly housed a city came as a surprise to both the people living there and the archaeologists who were investigating the site. A prior team conducted an exhaustive search of the old metropolis, but once the water level returned to its typical height, the crew was unable to proceed with their inquiry any further. Because of this situation, they only had a short amount of time to do a complete investigation. They were successful in bringing back a few antiquities from this location. 
This location had a number of different types of infrastructure, some of which included enormous towers and storage facilities. This site was one of the most notable locations in the Matami Empire, which was composed of a variety of significant locations. They came from a variety of locations to collect the items they found. Mud that had been dried in the sun was used to construct the walls of this construction. How were these walls able to stand for such a long period without falling down? All the archaeologists had a lot of questions about this topic, but what really caught them off guard was the video that was shown earlier that showed the fallen angels pleading for assistance. For an extensive period, these celestial beings had been imprisoned at the depths of the Euphrates River. Would they be demonic in nature or the fallen angels? A great number of people were unable to accept the fact that these angels continue to be unable to break free from the pit they are in at the bottom of the Euphrates River. In the event that these angels were successfully set free, the slaughter that ensued would be unparalleled in the annals of human history. The angels plan to let out the horsemen in order to wipe out one third of the human race. The following is taken from Exodus 27.2, And thou shalt make the horns of it upon the four corners thereof. Its horns shall be of the same, and thou shalt overlay it with brass. We are led to think, as a result of the revelation, that the Lord is aware of when and what will take place throughout each individual second. Whatever he intends to happen to people will occur soon, and we cannot do anything to stop it. It is impossible to stop such an event from occurring. The noise made from the fallen angel is audibly pleasant in the film that the archaeologist captured with his camera. We are forced to do a self-examination as each successive piece of evidence substantiates the accuracy of the prophecy. It is imperative that we have complete and unwavering confidence and trust in the Son of the Most High. Everything that is recorded in the Bible is gradually proving to be accurate. There is yet more that will take place later. It is important that we prepare for the upcoming events. In Ephesians 6.12, it is stated that our struggle is not against physical beings, but against spiritual forces of evil, such as principalities, powers, and the rulers of darkness in this world. The unexplored areas around the Euphrates River have garnered the attention of archaeologists as there are many sites that remain uninvestigated. These untapped areas hold a wealth of information that researchers can use to gain insight into ancient civilizations. The strange noises that the archaeologists heard coming from the trench in the Euphrates River caused them to be quite alarmed. There are two distinct groups of angels, those serving the Lord and those serving the devil. The Lord's angels are free to move and act without any limitations, while the fallen angels, under the command of the devil, can only act within certain boundaries. The fallen angels plan to release 200 horsemen into the world with a horrifying appearance that would terrify people. These horsemen, with the help of the fallen angels, would seize control of the world from the Euphrates River. Another catastrophic event that humanity must face is the low-cost swarm. This event is characterized by the lack of remorse and repentance among people who have committed heinous crimes such as murder, rape, and theft. This means that a large number of people, about one third of everyone in the world, would no longer exist. The purpose of these events is to encourage repentance among humanity, however some individuals will not repent and will suffer the consequences. The unbelievers will face severe torture for at least five months with no respite. Despite their sufferings, they will not repent, and the war horse will continue to torture them. Only those who have repented and are aware of the situation will survive. The Euphrates River has caught global attention due to its drying up, leading to the discovery of ancient artifacts. Its significance extends beyond its geographical and cultural importance as it plays a crucial role in determining the fate of people during the rapture. As the days of salvation draw near, it is important for us to ready ourselves. This involves acknowledging and atoning our transgressions, as well as holding steadfast in our belief and trust in the Lord.